The greatest stories start with a drink. And today's story involves Ernest Hemingway, a boat, and cocktails in children's stories. Today, I have Papa Pilar rum. And this rum is named after Ernest Hemingway, who had the nickname of Papa and his boat that he enjoyed fishing on named Pilar. It is made by the Hemingway Rum Company that was started in 2013 in Key West, Florida. The Hemingway estate does actually have some stake in the company and most of their profits go to charities that represent the ideals of Hemingway himself and the heirs that are running the current estate. The very well-known Ernest Miller Hemingway was born on July 21st, 1899 in Oak Park, Illinois, which is a suburb just outside of Chicago. He is famous for being a writer, Nobel Prize winner, journalist, sportsman, and for our purposes, a very heavy drinker. Although he supposedly never drank while riding, he had a lot of instances where drinks were in his stories. One example in The Good Lion, which, yes, is a children's book. Hemingway writes, The bad lions would roar with laughter and eat another Hindu traitor. The good lion would sit and ask politely if he might have a Negroni or an Americano. And he always drank that instead of the blood of the Hindu traitors. And so I do not have an Incampari at the moment. Otherwise, I would have a nice Negroni or Americano with you guys. But today, we will drink a rum inspired by Hemingway instead. There are a ton of stories about Hemingway and his drinking. So much so that there's actually a cocktail book written by Philip Green that goes into um, cocktails and how they relate to Hemingway's life. So if you would like to read that, I'm going to put a link to the Amazon um, book in the description below. I'm not sponsored, but it was very interesting. And if you want to know more about Hemingway, um, I'll put a couple of those links below. Mostly there's a website and um, a Wikipedia page, obviously, that you guys could go to to learn more about him there. In rum, like other liquors, it matters where the rum comes from. This case... They are blending rums, they're sourcing them from Central America, South America, and North America. Mainly it looked like kind of the Dominican Republic, Florida, places like that. Then they finish the product in bourbon, port, and sherry casks. That is done in their facility in Key West, Florida, which is one part of Hemingway's life. Um, he lived there for a while, and so they felt like it was very fitting. The proof on this is 86% and the 24 is not an age statement. Um, basically one of the rums that goes into it is aged for 24 years, but they don't have an amount that goes in and don't even say which rum. So take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> it's also distilled in pot stills as well. So like always, we'll go in for a look a smell and a taste and I'll let you know if I'd buy it again. So look wise, it's definitely, um, you know, like a golden, a little bit darker golden color. So now let's go ahead and go in for a smell. I'm getting a very sweet, like molassesy smell to it and a little bit of earth on the end. Let me see if I can pull that out. The earthy smell is kind of like a hay, so it started very sweet, very um, thick, syrupy, kind of molasses sweet, and then went into a earthy um, kind of hay finish at the end. And I am picking up a little bit of vanilla um, caramel notes. This is an aged rum, so it is, um, like I said, aged in bourbon, um, port, and sherry casks. I'm also getting kind of a butterscotch smell too, which is, it's very nice and pleasant. Let's go ahead and go in for a taste. So the butterscotch kind of came through on the um, taste as well as vanilla. Sweet, definitely was there. Um, 
I had a little bit of um, alcohol burn. Um, a little bit more than I'd like to see at 86. Uh, it was pretty nice. Let's go in for another taste, see if we can pull anything out. So I would say the main note is kind of the butterscotch note that I was getting off the nose. Um, and then there's a sweet like molasses-y like brown sugar taste on it. Um, there's a little bit of earthiness. And I am getting a hint of like fruit on the end that may be coming from the port in the sherry cask. Um, maybe like a cherry at the end. But the overwhelming flavor is kind of the brown sugar butterscotch flavor that I was kind of um, smelling on the nose. And as you can see, we've we've been enjoying this quite a bit. Um, I, I definitely think I'd buy this again. Um, it was really nice dark rum. And a lot of times I'll go more for the spiced or um, rums. And we've been getting more into the aged rums. I paid about $35 for this at my local Total Wine, so yeah, I would probably get it again. Thank you guys so much for watching today, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Cheers!